Hi everyone, today we're going to be unboxing the Avidia One 7 inch touchscreen camera control monitor. Now, this can be used to control multiple cameras like the Avidia lineup for PZ cameras for live streaming or remote monitoring. But also, for something you can utilize it for is the DSL monitor or a field monitor for your camera system. Let's get started with doing the unboxing because I always enjoy unboxing new equipment and seeing what they have inside. Let's see what it looks like. Not bad at all. All right, let's get set this down. Let's see what else we have in the, the box and I'll put these inside because I always like a uh, little extra boxing. Ah, here's all the extra equipment. Okay, so we're gonna get to this in a second. Let's unwrap the monitor itself. All right, so check this out. This is the field monitor right here. Now, like I said, you can utilize it to control multiple cameras and it's touch screen. So let's take a look at the outside. Right now we have our, obviously our on, on button. Um, we have a different adapter. So these are very key. When you have like a field monitor or a stand, you wanna put it on a tripod. These are the adapters to go, but not only do they have one for top and bottom, so you can do upright or you can do the widescreen. I actually prefer this method, but when you want to balance some things out, uh, squeeze it into a different space, it's got a different rotational view that you can utilize within the settings. All right, so on the back, you have the adapter for your NPS battery. You have an, an additional adapter to charge other uh, devices that can be attached to your field monitor if you want to do a wireless adapter for it. Uh, they, they've kind of thought it, I haven't seen too many that actually have two types or two different ones available to you, which goes to show that they're thinking of, uh, attaching additional accessories. All right, back onto the back. We have our in and out for HDMI. If we have a few moments here, I will get ahead and get my DSL set up and I'll show you what it looks like for the outputs. Uh, we have your SDI in and out. There's also a USB. I want to look at to see what the USB is going to be capable of. I'm assuming it's going to be upgrading the firmware, but it will be attaching additional devices. Uh, you do have here for your earpiece, so some microphones, and then an additional one for a camera control. All right, let's finish our unboxing. We got our camera control wire. We got our DC. Actually, we're going to hook up the DC. Okay, let's get our DC jack hooked up. Now, one of the things that I find very valuable with any type of mobile camera equipment is that the little adapter, the little threaded adapter that keeps the DC jack held in place so it doesn't actually bump out. Now, it might not seem like a big deal for a field monitor, but for a lot of your audio equipment from recording, you do not want them to bump out at all. All right. So why we get that plugged in? I'm gonna stay up. Ooh, that stays up pretty nice. I like that. Okay, uh, HDMI. This is very key. A lot of companies do not provide you with the HDMI ports and output for it. Uh, you always have to buy those extra adapters. The video one thought of everything. They provided you the cables already suited for it. And uh, I'm having a little tough time with this twist tie. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, we'll put this down and we'll see what else is in the box before we get it hooked up and started. Oh, hey, check this out. So they actually came with the adapter for the stand. There is not too many companies that will do this. A uh, video plus one on it. This adapter is key and it's not a cheap plastic one. This is a sturdy metal adapter and we'll just put it right in. Look at that. Already ready to go. You have your adapter ready. In fact, this is gonna work out well when I get it hooked up to my camera. Uh, video one, tell you, this is perfect. Uh, a little Allen wrench and a screw for it. And then they do have the USB for the firmware. And then this is your camera. This is the audio adapter that goes into your camera. And then it will go into the monitor. So you'll see the sound go onto the screen. Let's power this on. See what it looks like, camera. Okay, now that we have my Blackmagic camera set up, 
I hooked it directly to the monitor. I do want to note that my camera took a full HDMI cable, so I had to go rummage around and find one. It didn't take the micro one that was provided by NVIDIA, but most uh, camera systems or DSLs do the micro HDMI input. So that's really where the value comes in is that the cable's already available to you. I have it hooked directly up into the camera system and now you can see it on the NVIDIA 7 inch touchscreen monitor. And wait, did I say it's a seven inch touchscreen? Yeah, check this out. Watch, I can actually zoom in and out on this uh, automatically. Now there's a little bit of a contrast here based off the wood panel that I'm using, but you have your inputs uh, for your color, your RGB colors that are coming into it. You can change the inputs or the functions. And if you have multiple cameras set up, that's really cool. Notice how the colors are changing throughout the entire recording happening because my hands coming into the flow. But if I want to zoom in or out, I can actually scan. And if I slide, I can move over to it. You have the options for brightness, contrast, saturation. You can change those. And if you wanted to change the backlight of it, we can change the backlighting a little bit. So uh, maybe I'll darken it for the rest of this recording. Actually, that's doing really good. That does a, a pretty good job. Uh, the volume, if I have my headset in, so I can change a number of things uh, for the settings. This is really, the value of it, it allows me to zoom in when I'm recording something or when I'm out in the field and I want, and I don't have the full visual on the back of the camera that I can see exactly what I'm trying to like zoom into or want to make sure everything. But also note that the NVIDIA One supports all their PZ camera functionality for live streaming or remote or monitoring and their full setup. If you have another device that outputs it, like an example of an A10 Mini or an A10 Full, what it'll allow you to do is have the full functionality of the camera set up displayed exactly on the screen. So you can see the preview and the post. I think the other value that I like is not only the additional adapters on the back for the MPS and uh, the battery setup or external interfaces that you're allowed to use, but the how lightweight it is, the adapter that they provide with you and all the accessories. I'm gonna start using this in the field and in the future, maybe we'll highlight some of the additional things that I found out with the NVIDIA One seven inch touchscreen monitor.